It is the 29th of July, 2021, as always. It is a pleasure being with you each and every Thursday. This is Power Talk. My name is Ram Maguko. Welcome. This is Y254. We are coming to you live from the broadcasting house here in Nairobi, Kenya. We are also live on our website at www.kbc.co.ke forward slash Y254. Ensure that you engage with us on our social media platforms. Remember, this conversation to, to, uh, today is all about you and your relationships. The conversation is about how to communicate with your partner. And this is what normally ails most people communication how do you communicate with your partner during conflict how is communication the, at the beginning of the relationships it is at that time that people take long hours over the phone they call each other they text each other the good morning messages are so much but at some point the good morning messages reduce and, somet and, and, and sometimes they don't even get sent to you. What is the problem? How do you communicate with your partner during conflict? How do you communicate with your partner when you want, when you want to make uh, decisions pertaining you and your life? What about family? What about relationships? What about relatives? How best can relatives affect your communication with your partner? How is it that you should handle this in the best way or forward? Well, this conversation is about you and your relationship, especially with that person that you claim to be the you, you, your one and only, yeah, your <laughs> your rib. <laughs> How do you communicate with them? Well, to help us in this, con in this conversation, I'm joined next to me by Magdalene Milimu. She is an actress and a filmmaker. Karibisana Magda. And we sound Magda. Sorry. <laughs> I, I, have a, I have friends who are called Magda. Like no, no, it's okay. It's allowed. Karibu sana. Asante. Thank you for many time. Huh? Thank you. And to my extreme left, I am joined by none other than Edwin Tiago. He is a pastor and a motivational speaker. Karibu sana, Edwin. Asante. Yeah, and it's been a while it since you can have it. Sure. Yeah, it was 20 years ago. Enjoy Peter, I'm going to come in. Peter, but Karibu sana, thanks for finding time. Asante sana. The hashtag as always is a power talk show on Twitter. The hashtag is Power Talk Show on Twitter, the at Ram Aguko and at Y254 channel. Engage with us. Head over to Facebook. We have also posted a question on our Facebook platform. Head over there, Y254. Drop in your comment at the comment section below and you shall be uh, and we shall be able to sample your feedback as you continue with this conversation. Now we also went on the streets. We asked our viewers to send in videos of themselves to, uh, in, 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 you know, tell us uh, what they think about this conversation. And uh, they did that. So we shall be able to uh, sample a few of uh, those videos later on. So ensure that you participate in this conversation. How to communicate with your partner? What are the do's and the don'ts? Ninini how fai kusema considering wanaume wakona ego. Ah, see, ladies first, but uh, let me start with you, Chico. Yes, uh, in communication, uh, mm -hmm. they say communication is the best tool, mm -hmm. and that's what builds relationships. Mm -hmm. And uh, communication is what normally uh, uh, affects many relationships. You guys know very well sure. that some of the reasons why many relationships get got broken, mm -hmm. many divorces got into, uh, many people got into divorces is because mm -hmm. of lack of communication. Sure. How best should you uh, look into it so that you, you, you communicate well with your partner, just in general, as you start? Uh, mainly, I would like to say that communication is everything mm -hmm. in a relationship. Everything begins with communication and it ends in with communication. communication. Mm -hmm. In most of the cases, we have been told it is not what you say, it is how, how you say it. it. I believe many of us have encountered that statement mm -hmm. in one way or another. Many a times there is the intended meaning and the implied meaning. Are you implying or have you intended? So in communication, when you want to speak, when you want to send a message, when you want to pass a signal, no, it is not what you say. It's how you say it. It is how you say it. And is this why? And uh, let me come to you, Magdalene. Um, because this is where I will, I, will, I will pin some ladies here. Mm -hmm. They don't say what they feel. Mm -hmm. You ask her, what's wrong? Are you okay? <laughs> I'm fine. Are you sure you're okay? Mm -hmm. I'm fine. But you see the face. 
the facial expression tells you that things are not well. But ladies say no to me, yes, they say yes to me, no. How best should we understand? Uh, help me understand this. First of all, when we're talking about communication, mm. there's the verbal communication. Mm -hmm. And then there's the nonverbal communication <laughs> that you should understand. That even when I don't say it, you will see how I'm behaving and you'll know that there's like a problem here. Men don't know. You should. Because now we're talking about a romantic relationship. You love me, I love you. We are, especially when it comes to like marriage, for instance, you've mm -hmm. been with me for a while. Mm -hmm. You know how I react towards some things. There, there's a, some type of way I'll behave and you'll know, this, this woman is hungry, she needs food. This woman, you know, she's, there's, there's something wrong I've done, you know. And that is what women mostly expect from men. I know it's not the best attribute of a woman. Mm -hmm. Like we would want people to know what we're thinking, like you're telepathic or something. Definitely. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yes, there's the nonverbal non communication that people do not take much uh, interest in. There's the how you tell me things and how you show me things. But then there's how I behave in silence. That mm. I, I, I mean, when there's love, there's, there has but, to be this connection. But this is the problem here. Mm -hmm. Because the guy just doesn't know. In fact, you're, you're going through your day, umefika nyumbani, and uh, you expect things to be okay. Mm -hmm. You find a very quiet woman. Mm -hmm. She's so quiet. Mm -hmm. She's amijifungia pale, not talking to you. Mm -hmm. I say, what's wrong? Nothing. Are you okay? Yes. But you can clearly see through the nonverbal communication <laughs> that she's not okay, mm -hmm. but she's not saying yes. it. Yes. Is that a cause of problems? I think that is like uh, the flip side of women as far as communication is concerned. The fact that we we are the advocates of communication, but yet we do not <laughs> <laughs> we do not execute it as much as it should be. Uh, I think that's something that we should improve. Yeah. But sometimes, how would you explain? You know, this is a thirty-year-old man. He knows he's supposed to do this do that you know and he's missing out on those responsibilities and he expects to come home and find me smiling and being okay with everything uh. okay I, I know i understand mm -hmm. that uh, i am supposed to talk, to talk things out i'm supposed to say you know babe you didn't do this and i didn't like it but then sometimes usually it's like you know what is expected of you why don't you do what is expected of you then there'll, there'll be less of me being you know mad and mad. angry yeah i believe in any relationship assumption is the greatest undoing do they, not assume. They assume you do not assume that someone <laughs> knows. Uh, do not assume that uh, they, 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 they should think in themselves that it could have been like this. Expression is the best way. I've always said, when you are angry, let people know you are angry. When you are happy, let people know you are happy. And life becomes very simple. Because when you assume, if it is a man, he keeps on doing the same, same things. Mm -hmm. He you keeps on... Uh, you assume but, he should but, know. No, but, but then you should understand. Mm -hmm. It's easier for men to be very clear. Because mostly the human, the human, the way we behave as human beings, it's mostly how the hormones that run inside of us. I think the men only have one hormone, just testosterone. And it's, so, it's, it's really figured out. It's really figured out. We have so many hormones. They're fighting for space. They're fighting for attention. Mm -hmm. It's really hard to be a woman. It's not easy. Mm -hmm. It's not easy to figure out what You're a woman it's, wants. It's hard to be a woman. I'm not making excuses. Yeah. But then it's not easy. It hey, it, it, a man, it's not easy to, yeah, a man, to be a woman. Yes. It's not easy to communicate. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the point is, there's so many hormones taking, you know, uh, uh, there's so much going on in, in a woman's body mm. that, you know, sometimes just, I don't know, it's, it's a little complicated how women are. And I think that's what makes them beautiful. The fact that it's not easy to figure them out. For a man, it's easy. A man, you have to figure, uh, it's just testosterone. That's just his ego. And once, once you find a way to, you know, walk around the ego and everything, massage it or bruise it, you know, it's figured out for men. It's and not I, the same for women. And, and, and I like our viewers from home. Tell us what you think about it. Is it easy to communicate with the women? And for the, for, uh, for the women, is it easy to communicate with the men? Do you find it easy to communicate with the man? I think it's easy, but we... From, coming from the... From the uh, the problem with men is them opening up, but it is easy to get to them. Them opening up is the problem. Like mm -hmm. sometimes a man can have something that's, that's his heart, there's something that's not going on right in his mm -hmm, life mm -hmm. and he wouldn't like come out because, you know, ego. Ah, because ego. yes, we cannot talk about a man without talking about ego. But communicating with a man, it is mm. easy because when I massage his ego, then the man brings out the best of himself. Tell when I bruise it... <laughs> <laughs> you, you get the worst of him. Exactly. Tell, tell us what you think about it. The hashtag is part of show at Ram Aguko and at Y254 channel that's on Twitter. Quite over to Facebook and give us your thoughts. Is it easy com to communicate with your other, uh, uh, with the opposite uh, partner, with the opposite, with the opposite sex? 
with the woman, with the man, how, how do you find it to communicate with them? And you that you participate with us on, on those particular social media platforms and we shall be able to sample okay. your feedback. Is, what is the problem with the women that they just don't know what to say, when to say it or how to say it? What is the problem with the men that they keep quiet even though they are hurting? Wanasema kuwa manome. Tiengo, let me come to you on that. Why can't men just say what hurts them? It is difficult because many a times men would want to be a solution. They would not want to be a problem. They would want to be a solution. And that is why you'll find that they would not easily mm. express what they are going through. Especially if it is something that can bring down their ego, just as Magdalene has said. He will not speak about it. He will not communicate about it. And if he is to communicate, he will do it some time later when, 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 you, when, when he feels that there is, there is a solution coming. There is, a, there is something, there is a green light. They will be quick to communicate about it. But mostly, they'll keep to themselves. Mm. They'll just be silent. Isn't that a problem? Isn't that a recipe of problems where you keep quiet? You don't say what ails you. Mm -hmm. Yes, you want to be a solution. You want to be the person who offers the solution and you don't want to be the problem. But doesn't that in itself become a problem? I think the way people communicate as adults is mostly because, because based on how they were raised. Mm. You know, as a child, if you're born in a family where as a, as a, as a boy, if anything happened, you are told, Wanaume, you know, you're a man, men don't cry, men don't do this. Mm -hmm. Then it's really hard for that man as an adult to express emotions as should be. But if you're raised in a home, you know, there's, there's a difference of being raised in a home of love and a, a home of survival. You know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's, it's a little different of uh, 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 when you grow up as an adult, we are, we are, we are, we are products of, of nature. The way we were raised, that's what matters mm -hmm. for both men and women yeah. alike. Uh, if I was, uh, if I was raised in, a, in an environment that it was, I was able to express myself. If things didn't go my way or things didn't go as expected, I would be able to sit someone down and tell them, you know, you did this. I didn't like it. Mm -hmm. There's a way you talked to me, mom. I mm -hmm. didn't like it. Mm -hmm. Then I will grow up to be an effective communicator. So it trickles down to how we were raised, and that's why mostly here in Africa we find men so difficult, you know, to understand and talk to because. In Africa, the way men are raised, they're, they're raised to be mini warriors. When you're a little boy, you're told you're a man. Men don't do this. Men do this. Mm -hmm. A man can't even express himself or talk things out because at Ambiwa, wanaume huwa mdomo ni wanawake, you know? Mm. So it's, it's, something, it's, it's something that's so deep-seated. Deep mm -hmm. Unless we change how we raise our children, then we will have the same cycle and the same conversations over and over. And this is what, I, I, I wish parents could, could also join us in this conversation, mm -hmm. especially parents. Mm -hmm. How do you raise your child to communicate well mm -hmm. when they feel pain how should they communicate when they are happy how should they communicate when they are distressed or sad when they're excited or joy joyful mm -hmm. how should they communicate that is, is, is it a parental problem and uh, now it's having a ripple effect in our relationships and in marriages partly it is I say partly mm -hmm. because there comes to a level in life where you have to take responsibility by yourself yeah there are many things within us which we are yet to discover. I believe uh, even many, many adults have not discovered themselves uh, fully up to where we are. So I will say it is partly parental. But by reason it is foundational, I believe it is something that can be corrected at a child's tender age as they are coming up. Mm -hmm. Just as Magda has said that as they are coming up, they are told how they need to express themselves. When you are offended, how do you get to communicate your offense? Because I believe that is where a problem comes in, in most of the relationships. Not really excitement, achievement, and what have you. But when it comes to offense, that is where there is a problem uh -huh. in communication. Mm. When you are offended, how do you communicate that offense? How do you speak and let the other party know that you are offended, offended in then? one way? But, 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 but now, now you find an adult. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Someone tells you, uh, you are being petty. Mm -hmm. Should we have such kind of sentiments in our relationships? Are they healthy? You know, what appeals to you may not be appealing to me. You understand? Mm. What, is, uh, what is weightier to you may not be weightier to me. Mm. It is about understanding. 
uh, the one the personality that someone has it is good to know someone's personality mm. because <laughs> to you what is petty might not be petty to me but sometimes the, men men tell women you, you're being petty they say you are nagging mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, is, is it right? <laughs> no, no, my girl, I'm a smile, I'm a smile, love for you. Actually, it's not right. You know, I am expressing myself. Yeah. However pathetic I express myself, everything that is important to me should be important to you. We are, we are one. We are, in a, we are in this relationship, we are one. Yeah. So if it hurts me, it, sh it should carry the same weight to you, which sometimes doesn't, which is, that's actually the whole problem. Yeah. And that's why you find women repeating the same things over and over, because I, I cannot blame this on temperaments. I cannot blame this on personality. Mm. This is just a man thing. I don't know. It's just, it's just generally... You feel a, like a the, man, man, the men are the problem, yeah. I, I'm, not, I'm not pointing fingers saying it's, it's a problem. Mm. Probably that's how they were... That's, that's who they are. That's what their DNA entails. That's what it is being a man. But most of the times, men are able to brush off issues so easily. For a mm. woman, everything is important. Everything okay. to the last detail, it is important. Sometimes we expect the same from you, which most times doesn't happen the way we expect, and that's where we have conflict. Because I, I would I would look at something and feel, Manze, what you're doing, Ram over here, it's not it's not right. Mm. But then you're like, it's okay, it's just it's just this, you know. Like most of the issues that come in a relationship, like how, how you squeeze toothpaste, for instance, <laughs> it, it will matter to me. It will. I will be bothered. Kwanini unafini apo katikati yet you can, you know. But for a man, it's like it's just too toothpaste mm -hmm. you know but for a woman it's it's really hard to overlook they, women, the way you want, the, you exactly, want things to be done exactly women are in uh, uh, the, when I say manga, the devil is in the details mm -hmm. women love details in, in stuff and men mostly overlook details it takes a lot of maturity from the side of a woman mm -hmm. to also learn that you know he's a man let me cut him some slack it takes a lot of maturity and it takes time for people to get to that place where so, you'll be like it's so okay. wh who should understand who here in the in, in, in this scenario here you're saying it takes a, a lot of maturity for women to really understand the man, but at the same time, there is a way just that that, that men are, are, are just created, or there is a way you, you said it is there in, in their DNA. So, who is it that should pull up their socks? Who is it that should you know uh, uh, be flexible enough to understand the other? Both. It, it, it will always be both. Like, effort should be two-way. The relationship is not for one person. Mm. It's for both people. We are, we, are, we are in this together. We are working on this together. You have to understand my weaknesses and complement them. I have to understand yours. Diego, have you ever told a woman that she is nagging? <laughs> yes. No man has. <laughs> <laughs> no man has never said it. <laughs> no man has never said that. But it depends on what we mean by, by nagging. Uh -huh. You understand? Priorities, when you come to any relationships, when you are studying your partner, though it is not advisable because they say, okay, study to graduate, Sikugani. Get to know what are the likes of this person, what are the dislikes. Then from that, you can coin and come up with the best effective way to communicate to them. Yeah? For instance, there are people who do not want to be given things in stages. Anataka umwambie kila kitu mara moja. Mara moja at the same time. Lakini wanawake wako na shida. Yeah. Anasema give me time. Yeah, a woman <laughs> will communicate to you detail by detail. Hata kwambie kila kitu hiyo asubuhi. Atangojea at a certain point and you feel as a man I should have been told everything at the same time. So definitely, you will find that nagging. You want them to be direct, but they are not. Yes. Just go straight to the point. Straight to the point. Anataka endo uko, endo uko. I can relate. For instance, <laughs> you've done something. Yeah. You are not told immediately, this was wrong, I did not like when you did this. Uh -huh. You'll be told after two weeks that you know you did A, B, C. And at that time, maybe you've forgotten what you did. You already forgot. I think I think that cuts across both sides. I think if you're not an effective communicator, you're not. Mm. Uh, I, uh, I, I like what he's saying about the fact that men want to be told everything at once. Mm. Uh, I will I will give a very kawaida example. Mm -hmm. You you send a guy five texts, you know, mm -hmm. consecutively. Mm -hmm. Do you know 
men generally will pick the one they feel like answering <laughs> and answer that just <laughs> just one and, and, and ignore the phone and leave the rest exactly and that is that is just how men are msikate because that's a, that's something that men do and it really ticks women off mm -hmm. that i told you everything I, I poured my heart out and then you picked the most effective thing you know the one that works for you and you ignored the rest yet mm -hmm. to me everything that i said was important yet yet everything was valuable exactly. and, and and you feel like you are not being heard exactly Exactly. And also another thing about, you know, communication, I can say, you know, in, in a relationship, you have to talk like this, you have to do this, you have to do this. But then there's how I want to be loved. It's not the same way person B will want to be loved. It's not the same way another person will want to be loved. Mm -hmm. I think it's important that you understand the one you are with, mm -hmm. understand their love languages. Mm -hmm. How does this person want to be loved? Okay. Because, you know, when you love someone, there'll be, there'll be, there'll, there'll be a way you'll talk. That's why uh, they usually say uh, during the beginning of the relationship with, when, the, when everything is fire, there's, there are usually no problems about communication. There's mm -hmm. so much because a lot of love is involved and you're loving me right. Now, let's talk about that aspect of communication in terms of phone communication, phone calls, mm -hmm. texts. Mm -hmm. um, at the beginning, at the initial stages of a, of a relationship, it's all fiery. Huh? Romeo and Juliet. A lot of end of things huh? happening. Hey. Oh, <laughs> promises are made. A lot of uh -huh. cupid arrows. Cupid arrows. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> you've, uh, song, uh, song, uh, songs that are dedicated. Yes. You listen to those R and Bs and those uh, reggae songs, and then you're like, wow, I am in love. I am in it. Mm -hmm. huh? Mm. They, we, back then we used to call them the dicks. <laughs> the dicks. <laughs> I don't know how it's <laughs> how they normally say it now. But the, you you talk over the phone for hours mm -hmm. and hours. You chat. You're you given storobonas. Storobonas. Mm. <laughs> you chat from morning till evening. But at some point the chats reduce. The good morning messages are no longer sent. Is <laughs> But mm -hmm. But at some point, those you still have those five hundred texts. You don't call, you don't text. What is the problem? Could there be a reason as to why relationships are fired at the beginning in terms of communication, but as they proceed or progress over time, that communication level reduces. Ram, relationship is a journey. When I say relationship is a journey, just relate. There was a time you were in the rural areas and you were told now you are coming to the city. Mm. That evening, how are things? Compared as to now, when you become a commoner in the city and it doesn't matter to you anymore. You're not anxious. And Someone, Nairobi has done you things. <laughs> someone, someone once said that you cannot continue campaigning after winning an election. After winning an election. <laughs> but uh, what we need to do is to know what spurs that spirit in you that you can continuously communicate without being bored. What is it? They say familiarity brings what? It brings contempt. Mm. So we're at the beginning of the relationship, there is something that you are yearning for. And mm. now you have gotten, gotten it. it. Though it is not good to have that attitude that now, because I, I have this person together with me, I have what I want, it stops there. No, you need to know how to spar it each and every moment. That because I, say, I began by saying that communication, it is the backbone of any relationship. If there is no communication, be aware there is no relationship. I think it's also important for us to understand that just because we're having so many words being spoken, communication is happening. It's not necessarily the case. Mm. I might say so many things, but I haven't told you how my day was. I haven't mm. told you the highlight of my day. Mm -hmm. I haven't told you what I want to do tomorrow. We've just, we've just been speaking and we've just been saying a lot of nonsense. You know, and I think there's just talking and then there's effective, you know, it's purposeful. What mm. I'm telling you, there's a lot of meaning to it. It is intentional. It is intentional, exactly, that's the word. Uh, in the beginning of a relationship, there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of excitement. Like he said, Nenda, Sasa Kesho, Nenda, Nairobi, you know, mm. I'm so excited, Naskia, Nairobi, there's this, there's that. So there's a lot of excitement. You've just met this person that tickles your fancy. This person is amazing in every possible way. You've not mm -hmm. yet begun to, to realize the, 
you know, the, the flip side of this person. You're only mm. seeing the good side. Mm. Because we are both trying to make sure that the other person is excited and interested. And, 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 and impressed. Impressed, impress you, yeah. exactly. But then, in the multitude of words, there's a lot of nonsense that's spoken. There's a 500 messages. Zisha. There's Zisha. a lot of nonsense. <laughs> there's a lot of promises. Oh, our firstborn will be called this. Oh, we will have 17 children. People oh, we will do people this. People talk about names. Yes, people, I love what I do. I like this name. I prefer. So there's a lot of nonsense that happens, which is good, but it is a stage in a relationship. But then relationships comes, come with stages. There's the place where we just met and we're mm -hmm. in the talking stage. And then there's the place that we are committed. Maybe uh, he asks you to marry uh, to marry him. You are now a fiance. There's a, there's the, the, the different things we will talk about in that level. Now, when we get to that place, our conversations would, wouldn't be mostly, oh, you know, our kids will be called this. No. You know, when am I coming to see you? People, that is communication. Mm -hmm. uh, when you come, this is supposed. This is what you're supposed to do when in I our bring, culture. When am I bringing exactly. dowry? Yeah. When am I seeing your father? Yeah, in our culture, mother. this mm -hmm. is what happens. And then from that, the relationship progresses to marriage. When we come to marriage, now we won't have time to talk about to talk the whole day because now you're coming home in the evening to see me. But mm. at least during the day, have you spoken to me? Have you told me that the day is good so far? Have you told me uh, when you're coming back, please come with this? You know, have mm. we spoken during the day? Ama, because now you've married me, you no longer feel the need to send like a text during the day to tell me have a lovely lunch, enjoy your lunch, enjoy your day. You know, I think the communication changes gradually as the pro as the relationship progresses but 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 you see that is where where things get tough here mm -hmm. you get so used to each other mm -hmm. and then you no longer feel like saying good morning mm -hmm. and uh, that's one question that i like to ask the men outside there is it important to send that morning text is it important to to to, to send that text in the middle of the day just to, to say baby i love you is it is it important to ask how was your day uh, what have you taken for lunch, even though you're going to see each other in the evening? Tiang. It is important. It informs you that this is not just anybody else. This is somebody who is in your life. In marriage, when people get married, they say, for better, for yes. us. You understand? Though there are many who would want to omit that part, or for us. Mm. This is someone who is in your life. So every bit and every detail of your life matters to them. Just before they came in to, to, to settle permanently, yeah, they, they, need to, they need to feel that you still matter to them. Mm -hmm. Outside there, they know you meet people, but they, want to, they, 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 they would want you to know, or you would want them to know that they remain to be a priority and the most important part of your life. Mm -hmm. So definitely... It is important to send that text. Mm. It is important for mm. you to affirm to them. She has spoken about the love languages. To affirm to them that you are what is ringing in my in mind. Their mind. Uh, <coughs> and uh, uh, let me ask uh, Magdalene here. Mm -hmm. If they don't send a morning text, is it bad? Well, there's a way women love being loved. When we go back to the love languages, when you ask any woman what her love languages is, uh, she will definitely mention words of affirmation. Mm. We love attention. We love. I love being reminded that you still value me. But but, but a man feels like um, you know you're you're already engaged. You are already in a serious uh, relationship with him. Uh, he d doesn't feel obliged to send that morning text he just feels like you know texting you when he's done when he has left work at uh, maybe during the lunch hours that's when he will want to call you is it bad if that's how a man is yeah it's bad how, how, how why are you saying that's how a man is that's not how a man suppo is supposed to be <laughs> i mean there's no excuse for this there's no excuse Show your woman that she's a priority to you. Uh -huh. Show her over and over and over again. Okay. You see, when a woman okay. is loved right, these issues about nagging and everything, you won't see them. Because mm. it, it already affirms that at a, when, 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 wherever you are, you're thinking about me. You don't have to text me an entire day. Just send like a text during the day to remind me that you, wherever you are, you're thinking about me. So it, it, it goes both ways, though. It, it means here we are talking about some foundation that needs to be laid. Yes. So is, uh, should there be that uh, uh, agreement that this is how we should be talking, this is how, this how frequent we should be, regardless of the different work plans? It is important, Ram, that any time you are getting into a communication, uh, into a relationship, let the dynamics of communication be set clear. Yes. Yeah? 
I've gotten, uh, uh, I've gotten complaints from people many a times. Mm -hmm. One party is complaining mm. that the other party is not, co is not communicating. Mm. Personally, I, ought to, I also had that problem that I'm in a relationship and I find it difficult mm. to communicate probably via text when someone has sent so me you, a text you, you are a victim. Yeah. I'm a victim. <laughs> I'm not good in texting. I'm not very, very good in, in texting. Uh -huh. I'd rather make a phone call than, than text. text. You see, it is important for my partner to understand that. But in this scenario, your partner says, you have to change for me. I need to change you. This, that's how you used to be, but now you're dating me, and that woman needs you to change. The question is, as a man, why can't you change for her? That's why I've said, you, you, you agree on the dynamics of communication. <laughs> no, uh, I, I think relationships you, you, uh, are based on compromise. Mm -hmm. I can't come and say, it's either black or white for me, you no shades of grey, mm -hmm. there's no way, I, you have to text me. <laughs> no, I think it's, let, it's, it's really important. Let, let's head over to Facebook and see what people are saying online. The, the Facebook uh, 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 you know, platform is Y254, and sure that you send us your comments as we continue with this uh, conversation the hashtag is power talk show this is uh kalibitsi lukote he's saying what if you're the type of girl who was born among boys so you tend to be a tomboy and he is the opposite aha uh -huh. Sin uh, uh, uh there and Asema, i understand communication is everything but at times i try explaining to him something he is not understanding i prefer silence i take my time then later Tiengo, and i want you to answer that question uh, uh, and um, magdalene about kalibisi and Asema, what if you are the type of a girl who was born among boys so you tend to be a tomboy and he is the opposite Tiengo. uh it is important that you you know yourself mm. self-realization is important by the fact you are born among boys you are born among girls it does not determine whom you become when you have realized yourself you can cut your niche and communicate the way you are supposed to communicate mm. not the factor which is uh which is decided by where you are born or who are among uh, among who, whom are you born mm. yeah okay. But I think it's very important to also consider mm. uh, the, 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 the environment in which this person was raised. Mm. Because there's a difference between dating, for example, a mama's boy mm -hmm. and a boy who was just raised with a mom, but he wasn't necessarily a mama's boy. The way you communicate with a mama's boy is very different with the way you're going to communicate with this other person. Mm. The way you, when you date a last born, there's also like a problem there. There's usually like a problem that this person is used to being given this extra attention, you don't shout at me, I like things, you know, easy. It's not the same as dating a firstborn. Regardless of how much we are responsible for how we behave as adults, mm -hmm. it affects how we behave as adults. We cannot, we cannot overlook that conversation. Now, there's some things that I, I, I want us to touch on here mm -hmm. as you're talking about communication. Things not to say, things to avoid uh, doing as you try com to communicate. Let's talk about conflict. How best should you communicate with your partner during conflict? There is some couples normally end up saying, let's give, it a, let's give each other a break. Is that a solution? And I saw this on, online where someone was saying that that aspect of saying, let's take a break is a scam. It's a big scam. Mutu atasonga mbele kama injili. Just like that. You know, it's a rap. Yeah, it's a rap. Let me go. Because... Understand that because you picked this person, uh, okay, because you liked this person, other people are also capable of liking this person. Mm -hmm. You know. Exactly. Yes. So why are you giving the devil an opportunity to dine with you? Why, mm -hmm. are, you, why are you telling him, which break? You go and sleep, wake up tomorrow, we will continue this conversation when you're fresh. <laughs> which who, break? There is someone who said that if, you're, that if we are in a relationship together, we are in this together. If you get tired, Take glucose and yes. move on. Go and sleep. Take, take a power nap. Come mm. back. Let's continue having this conversation. In conflict, what should you just avoid doing? How should you communicate with, the, with, with, with your partner? I think it's very important for us to understand we, we cannot be ostrich. We cannot take the, the ostrich tendency of handling conflict. Hiding your face. Uh, yes, hiding under the sand. Mm -hmm. 
we cannot also be a kettle that waits until you know umenifika you've, you've you've reached me to the brim now this is the time i'm supposed to explode handle issues as they come mm -hmm. i think mm -hmm. that is one thing we really need to understand and that is why most most uh, relationships get to that place where you know you've been doing this to me over and over and the person doesn't even know they didn't even have a clue that they were hurting you when they when they did that thing mm -hmm. it's because you've been having so much pent up emotions and mostly this is a thing with men i will do something and then you'll ignore it or probably you will be like i don't want issues i just want to to, to sleep and you know but the more the more i keep on doing the same thing the more i bruise your ego the more i hurt you by the time you're exploding out mm -hmm. it's too much and the way you're exploding it it, it isn't like it, it would end up to being something like abuse in some cases mm -hmm, it mm -hmm. could be abuse it could uh, bottle up and 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 explode to something like divorce and and, and you see that that is something uh i don't know Timo, if you you still have uh, that uh, feedback by cinta waidera the one that i just would look up where he, she said that i understand communication is everything but at times i try and this this is what it is i try explaining something to him he's not understanding i prefer silence you see, I prefer silence. I take my time. Then later, we talk about it. Is that hazardous? Kunyamaza. And men have that problem. Wananyamaza sana. Mm -hmm. It depends with the, with the kind of person. We have always been told not to react when we are, hung, when we are angry mm -hmm. and when we are so much excited. There are two extremes of the emotions. And uh, any relationship that is based on feeling... Uh. This is what I have always said. Any relationship that is based on feeling, it trades on a dangerous ground. It's love a feeling. It, should, it, it is more than a feeling. Love is more than a feeling. You understand? They say if you fall into, you will also fall out, out. out of. But if you grow in it, then definitely there is something which will come out of it. Mm -hmm. So uh, in any given relationship, you need to understand the other partner well. Umjue, akiwa na hasira, when they are angry, how do they react? When they are calm, how do they react? When they are excited, how, how do, do they, they react? react? You understand? Mm -hmm. Because any time, don't, offenses come. I'm a pastor, I get offended. Nobody even, even though you are a pastor, yes, you I still get, get offended. offended. You will be offended. If your mother will offend you, your brother will offend you, your sister, your husband, your wife. So offense is something which is there. At one point, you'll be offended. But how do you get to communicate your offense? If you feel that when you attack that matter, when you're still angry, you will cause more harm than good, then you take that decision of being calm. Then later on, you can address it. And if you are just a genuine person, if you love someone genuinely, that anger will not last for a very, very long time. It will not go for a week for two weeks, one month, what if and then does? you're saying you're coming. What if to... it does? What if what if you you, you you guys get into a very bad fight that things that you keep on arguing every now and again, every now and again is just argument after argument after argument. And no one wants to talk about it. It's just fights, shouting, and at some point even want to say, I need a divorce. When I it, want a break. When it gets to that point, then you need to find help. Yes. You exactly. need to bring in a party, a party. that can, mitig can mitigate between mm. you two people. Mm. Because in, in, in a relationship, there, there, you find there is somebody who is hyper than another. There is somebody who communicates more, more. than another. But now if you find it, yourself in a situation where both of you, that one now you need to find help. You need to, to get assistance from somebody who can tame one of you, or who can tame the both of you to calm down so that you can listen to each other. Uh, 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 your thoughts. You? Is silence the best when your partner is mad? Uh, I just, I, I would really agree with Pastor Tiego. Uh, the way I handle how, you know, anger, if I have made you angry, if I'm the one, if I'm the reason why you're mad, mm. then I should let you calm. I shouldn't come and aggravate the anger. I shouldn't come and start, you know, justifying my actions. That's why I said I, we need to consider uh, how mature you are before you get into a relationship. Mm -hmm. You know, in, in, in fights, everyone always feels like they're right. It's true. Mm -hmm. But then it is maturity also to acknowledge that what I did was wrong. Mm -hmm. And it is important for you to, you know, calm down and then 
give that person if 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 they need space give them a little space then come back and apologize you know how how i how i also express myself in a conflict it mm. really matters i can either decide to you know shout and make things worse or i can decide to calm down and calmly <laughs> talk about issues let me, let, let me ask you <laughs> You've been in fights before. Yes. I'm sure. Yes. And there are those fights that you felt you were right. Yes. Tell me about that. You felt like you were right. And and, and you see, it's not easy. It's, it's not, not easy. How do you say that you want to communicate with your partner in an argument where you feel you are right and they are wrong and they also feel the same, same way and you can't meet in the middle? You see, that's why... Uh, there's something that we usually miss, you know, when we are progress, when a relationship is progressing, and we usually miss the fact that we need an accountability partner, mm -hmm. a third party, like he's mentioned. Normally, we usually say it's between the two of us. The rest of the world doesn't matter. That's against the world. Yes, which uh, <laughs> which in most cases is not right. We mm -hmm. will fight. That's that's how a relationship is is. We will fight. I come with my own temperament. You come with yours, and we, there's there's a place we will cross. That is how we need now an accountability person, a mentor for either one of you, from either one of you. Someone that you can trust, someone that is wise, preferably someone that is married over the years, has been, has seen it all. Someone was married longer than exactly. you have been. Exactly. And that is a, 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 a thing that we usually miss. You know, when we are getting into relationships, we're like, it's just us. We don't care about the rest of the world. But it's a very important factor in a relationship. And it is, it, it is at, at that point that people get into even more trouble because that accountability partner, one of you feels as though, no, that guy will just side you. No. You'll just be on your side. Then you or have that a accountability partner is the one who will take your issues to other people. He should be someone you trust. Exactly. One, she said he should be someone you trust. Then it should not be someone who takes sides. At times when you go to handle circumstances, you need to be very partial. Mm. Even if I'm very close to you, Ram, and I'm handling an issue between you and your partner. Yeah? I might even to save the situation. Mm. Yeah? Mm. I'd rather side more with your partner. First of all, to win her trust. By the time you are coming to levelize things, we are okay. We can speak them openly. We can handle them the way they are. Now, uh, I, I want us to take a short break and mm -hmm. then we'll be back. Uh, and after that, we'll pick more on an, the, the yet another aspect of communication. But... Is it possible that food can improve communication? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I want us to, 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 to uh, touch on after, after this break. Can food improve your communication? One day, I make a sticker. That man is pissed off. Mm -hmm. What if he cook his favorite meal? Ashibe Kwanza. Alafu Badaio no Monge. Can that help improve communication? <laughs> <laughs> Let's say the short break will be back in a bit. This is Power Talk. Oh. Y254. Imagine. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you very much for keeping it Y in the morning. This is Power Talk. Uh, this is Power Talk. <laughs> this is Power Talk. Uh, sorry, I, I, I'm used to Y in the morning. This is Power Talk. Remember, we are live on our website at www.kbc.co.ke forward slash Y254. Ensure that you engage with us even on our Facebook platform. Y254 is where we, you can find us. We have a, a comment section below. We've made two, uh, uh, many posts there. Ensure that you go head over there on the post and uh, uh, leave your comment. Um, let me just sample a few. This is uh, uh, Eric Sheru. And Asama is watching from Muranga. Show Ikopoa Sana. Regan Olo. And Asama, there is no manual that gives clear cut ways of how to communicate. The bottom line is to if is to uh, the bottom line to effective communication is first understanding one another on personal likes, dislikes, moods, feelings, and preferences. That is Regan. Do we have more? Uh huh. Sour, sour. So um, uh, we shall sample more of your feedback. Let me just read. There is something I, I'm, I'm I'm coming to you, Tiago. Yes. On the issue of conflict, mm -hmm. and uh, there is one. This is a uh, little nanny, Sinta Waidera. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was saying he prefers silence. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, I want to give you time to respond to, to, to that particular issue on conflict mm -hmm. before we, we move on. Okay, yeah. When it comes to conflict, it depends on what has brought about the conflict. Mm. 
Is it a criticism? Is it a mistake that has been made? That will determine on how you are going to approach the matter on the issue. And there comes a point when there is something that uh, Magdalene mentioned, that someone feels they are right, or both people in a relationship feel they are right mm. in time of conflict. Mm. You might be right, but you being right does not solve the problem you're having in the relationship. It is always good to give a leeway and to know how is it that I can... You can win an argument and lose a friend. Yeah, and, and, and that's how mo most people normally do. They want to win the argument. Yes. In fact, some even say, mm -hmm. but the fact that I am, uh, uh, I am wrong does mm -hmm. not mean you are right. Mm -hmm. They even say that. Yes, because there are different perspectives. Mm. Magdalene said there is my perspective. There is your perspective. And there is someone else who can see a different perspective uh, depending on where you are standing. Mm. That is where we spoke about bringing in a third party that will be nonpartisan and pick out on the detail that makes the conflict to arise or even to be more. There is a, a candy bar. I don't know if Timo ukipata weke hawani hapo hivi. Candy bar nasema, what if I am the only one who communicates? Does it mean I am paranoid? There is the way I love things happening. Maybe there's a way I love things happening. Mm. I think that now is a conversation in love languages. Mm. There's a way I love things happening. There's a way I love being, you know, I love things happening, you know, on my end. Uh, there's the words of affirmation. There's mm -hmm. gifting. Mm -hmm. There's uh, spending quality time. Mm -hmm. There's what else? Touch. There's yeah. Possibly. There's uh, yeah. Touch. Mm -hmm. There's really like five love languages. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if I there's a way I like being things being done. If you bring me a gift and all I wanted was to spend quality time, then you're loving me, but you're not loving me the way I want yeah. to be loved. <laughs> now, Candy Boy is, is asking. Um, uh, let me just use the word Candy. Mm -hmm. Candy is asking. Uh, does it mean she is paranoid? Because she is the one who uh, he's the only one who communicates. I, we, we, I uh, initially had mentioned that a relationship is two-way effort. We, it cannot be a one. It cannot be an individual effort. Mm. You have to bring in effort. I have to bring in my A game. You have to bring in your A game. Notwithstanding, it shouldn't be a competition. It shouldn't be who communicates more than the other. Communication mm. must happen, notwithstanding, mm. and uh, that's that's where we get it wrong. Because uh. now I feel like, you know, when I don't talk, he, would, he won't even talk. But then the guy is like, she's the one who's always talking. So I let her do the talking. And then, you know, which is, I think, is very wrong as far as communication and relationships are concerned. Mm. I think that's a very wrong way to handle There's a comment here by Zadok. Uh, and some communication is key here. Yeah, I agree. But the, but the, uh, the other gender, <laughs> females, thinks it's the, only, it's the only the man's responsibility to take the wheel. Then when you go silent, they, uh, uh, they came up again claiming when you are not talking to them, you eventually, you're eventually talking to someone else. I prefer silence. Then once I'm cool, we can settle things. Still the issue of communication. Ukinyamaza, anonda ni mbaya. Ukiongea. But how long have you been silent for? I mean, it makes sense if you've been silent for three hours. I would understand that. But you're silent for 48 hours. Why are you silent for 48 hours? Like, get over it. Let's go past this. Is, we have it, other things. Is, is it okay as a woman that sometimes you also take the wheel? Yes. But, but then there's the issue of submission and everything. <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah. it, it's a whole ball of complication. Communication. Can, can you allow the woman to take the wheel? I can. Okay, if proceed. it will be for the good of the relationship, why not? I proceed. Uh -huh. In communication, uh -huh. We have the who, the how, the when, the what, the why. If you understand all those factors, then your communication will be very, very effective. There is something, if you answer to it immediately when you are asked, you will spoil. In instead of you mending, you mm. will be spoiling. Mm -hmm. You understand? Wisdom is knowing what to say, when to say, and where to say. And so, how. And say how it. to mm. say it. That is wisdom. Because there are things you are not to answer. For instance, I, 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 I was speaking in a men's conference and I was telling them, mm. when a woman tells you you are foolish, you don't reply. You don't talk back and say you are also foolish. No. <laughs> if you have 2,000 shillings ram uh -huh. or 3,000, go to a supermarket, do, for, do shopping. Yeah? Come and put it there on the table and let her look at your foolishness. 
as that. So you don't reply, you don't respond back. When a woman tells a man mm. you're foolish, mm -hmm. nyamaza. Nyamaza, don't reply. Um, what, what, how should you uh, behave uh, even after that silence? The brother has talked about the other gender. You need to understand the dynamics of the other gender of communication. Don't answer back. There are things you don't just answer back. So when she insults you, it will, it buy will. her chocolates. Yeah. Yes. But why, why are you <laughs> insulting them in the first place? I, I think that's where the problem is. Where am I getting a through pass ya kukutusi to later shopping? Why 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 is there I, I know I am a woman and I shouldn't be I, I should, you know, be like, yes, yes, whatever he's saying is right, but mm. is there a way I can say you are foolish without saying you're foolish? Is there a way is there a nicer way that I can put the no it doesn't necessarily have to be I, I don't have to bruise your ego to prove a point. I don't have to compare you with other with another man to prove a point. I'll Let's talk of this. Food. I mentioned that earlier. Yes. Mm -hmm. Can food solve a problem? Oh, yes. It's even in the Bible. You know, it, it's even biblical. Food has solved so many problems in the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it has caused even many problems. Exactly. The story of Esau and Jacob, food caused problems there. But, yes. okay, it depends. Even, even you, Prophet Elijah, when he was angry and he was like, you know what? Uh, King Ahab wants to kill me, mm. so I no longer want to be a prophet. God was like, stay in the house. He brought a bird with food. And when he <laughs> ate, he was okay. You know, sometimes food, you know, because we are, we are humans at mm. the end of the day, sometimes, especially when you know you're on the wrong side and this person is quite angry, or maybe I want things to be done my way and I want to, to, to draw you to my side. You know, as a woman, that is where we bring in our influence as women which we do have it is the feminine it's it's it's, it's our femininity it's, it's in us you know if i can if you can be able to come home and i want you to do something that i know if i just mention it you will mm. say no and mm. you'll be very adamant it won't be manipulation per se mm. but it will be a wiser way of handling the issue you know you uh -huh. come home i prepare you your, your favorite meal ask you how your day was you know treat you slightly better than i usually do on a daily basis and the man you know, feel like yes. something is off. and then when you when <laughs> when when you're okay kabisa when you're now you're relaxed and you feel so good and then now i can bring the issue it will be hard for the guy to say no then People will term it as uh, as manipulation, but I think it is wisdom. Would you, f uh -huh, wisdom? Yes. Would you, so you would suggest to the women outside there that when you're in a fight, sometimes just cook him f uh, some food. Yes. He'll be okay. Especially when you know you're wrong, because most of the times we usually know we've, we've what we've done is wrong. Like you know, oh, we, we are yes. Women normally know. Yes, we, we we have we react basically out of a lot of emotion, but then when you sit down later and you're like, well, why did I say that? He had a point, actually. But then now the problem is accepting that what that I did was, was wrong. wrong. You know, coming down and, and then <laughs> telling you, you know, by the way, what you said, you're mm. right. I'm starting to find reason with you. That's the hardest part. That is where now, you know, these other things come, hand, come in handy. You know, cook him, make him feel good at least. And then... So yeah. that is for women, eh? Yes. Uh, for men, what should you do to improve communication, especially during conflict? conflict? Uh, during conflict, uh, to improve communication is... Uh, you begin by first of all coming back to yourself, analyzing the conflict, and ask yourself, what did I contribute to this conflict? How did I add fuel to the fire? Even if the, you feel like you're right. Even if you feel like you're right. Okay. What did, there is something you contributed. Because a conflict does not just spur up. Huh? It is a combination of uh, moments circumstances, situations, then the conflict comes up. So ask yourself, what did I contribute to, mm -hmm. to, to, to this conflict? I remember earlier on you said that as a man, when she uh, insults you, keep quiet. Keep Are quiet. there other ways that men, sh uh, other things that men should apply in their relationships to help? Maybe you could have a teseka as easy boy child. It is just a matter of understanding uh, your partner well. I know because there is something you can say and mm. it becomes more offensive. You thought it would be corrective, uh -huh. but it becomes more, more offensive. Mm. Don't comment at that time. Don't comment. So don't, when don't she, comment. When she time. cooks for you, you keep quiet. When she cooks, <laughs> just you know, you know she's doing her part. <laughs> <laughs> 
Elewa tu, elewa hii ni apology kimpango. Yeah, I just understand. But I think understand it and understand. Elewa ni apology kimpango. Yeah, and also know what to reciprocate. And, and there's a woman, some women when they know they are wrong mm-hmm. and uh, the, it's after a fight, she will just text you hi babe. You will just know she's so she's sorry exactly Th- that is get, her way of yeah, get the cue and then act accordingly you know let's just move past please you know be a man move past which i do not advocate for anyway but sometimes kuna kitu me mention hapo kuna boy child and ateseka you know yeah. those things mm. i think there's a difference we should learn to know the difference that Uh, right here this is a normal argument and then uh, and the relationship is okay and then this is a toxic relationship i think we need to understand the difference there's a time there, there's a, there's, a, there's a line you'll cross and it'll stop being a kawaida relationship how do we handle conflicts and everything and things like that how often do we have conflict how often you know it's 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 one thing telling me you're sorry and it's mm. another correcting yourself and not doing the same thing again ah. if you keep on doing the same thing over and over it becomes toxic we can't be talking about the same thing over and over now uh let's give yet more examples mm-hmm. in communication at the end of the day you are two individuals You have your own desires. Mm-hmm. You have your own plans. You have your own goals and so does your partner. You are just two separate individuals coming from two different families. Now, these two individuals as a person, you want to make a decision that concerns your life. How best should you communicate with your partner in that decision concerning your life? Are you allowed to make your choices the way you want or Should you tell your partner every decision you're making? Is there a line here that separates your life with your partner or are all decisions made meant to be made together? It depends with the stage of the relationship. Exactly. Uh-huh. If you are uh, for instance dating, hmm. you are courting or you are married, it will it will depend on what stage the relationship is maybe in. you can touch on which uh, on, on which stage applies to uh, uh, what applies to what stage when you are married mm. everything you are to do mm. your Together. partner has to know they have to know because even in church when we celebrate marriages or when we join marriages they say that you are no longer two You have become one. 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 So yeah. That one will be very very wrong. It will not make the relationship to be healthy. To the details, to the nitty gritties. I believe my wife is watching at home. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She always has a problem with me <laughs> that there is a visitor coming home and in one way or another I forgot to send a signal that today we'll be having a visit. I'm uh. sorry, Mama Watoto. <laughs> <laughs> Any time I've done that. I'm uh, sorry. Yeah. Ni mbona um, eh, nani ametuma hapa hivi? Uh some are full ametuma comment. Ah, you you remember some Rolo if you 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 with him. Huh? A great friend of mine. <laughs> <laughs> uh some are saying that communication uh, becomes easy when you share common interests learn each other's interest and have an idea mm-hmm. in that same area agreed i think uh, how we start re- uh, uh, relationships mm-hmm. that's where the problem begins because i'm probably looking for someone that's taller than me mm-hmm. older than me mm-hmm. uh, maybe has a beard you mm-hmm. know mm-hmm. and 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 that is not what i should be looking for because what kind of relationship do i want long term if it's long term mm-hmm. uh what is the role of a woman when she's married to a man she's a helper what mm. am i coming to help i need mm. to understand what your purpose in life is mm. so that i'm not caught up with you know um uh, i'm surprised you're telling me you want to be this i didn't i had no idea you wanted to be a, 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 a pastor what do you mean you're quitting your job to be a pastor you know things mm. like that mm. for instance uh, i didn't know you wanted to quit your job to be a business person you didn't tell me about this these are conversations that should have at the beginning of the relationship and now you are in you are in a relationship and you want to make a decision for yourself for you maybe for some men and i'm sure imefanyikia a man wants to take a, a, a vasectomy 
Mm -hmm. You make that decision on your own. Mm -hmm. A man wants to buy some piece of land somewhere. You make that decision on your own. Mm -hmm. Maybe you want to, 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 to you know, go and uh, sell a particular plot or get a title deed somewhere. You, or you want to take a particular loan mm -hmm. and you make that decision on your own. You must consult. Here consultation becomes key. Because now you are on your own, yes. But now the life you are living does not concern you alone it affects other people even if it means that it is it, it will not touch on you on the arrest directly mm. in one way or another you must consult because anytime you make that decision later on we have had you've mentioned alone we've had people failing to pay loans auctioneers coming to auction everything that you are having. Now, you, you, you did not know your partner had a loan. You did not know a partner that had a loan. You see, so it is very, very much important to consult at any level. I've said there are different levels of... There are those ones who are courting, there are those ones who are dating, there are those ones who are married. You understand? Mm. When you're still dating, you can make your own decisions because you are not married. Mm. But depending on where the relationship is going, at some point you begin to know you are important in someone's life Mm. when they begin to consult you on the decisions they are about to make. Mm. For instance, you are planning to get married mm. and someone is traveling abroad for quite some time, a very long time. Let's say they have had a five-year contract, a six-year contract, a seven-year contract. Mm. Yet you wanted to move on with life. Yeah. Yes. So definitely you have to consult. Uh, it does not consult, it concern you alone, it concerns both of you. And, and you see, Magdalene mentioned something. He wants to be a pastor. Mm. He wants to leave that business to become a pastor. I mean, my relationship with God is my relationship with God. <laughs> Which is not right. Which is not right. It's very important. Uh, uh, there are things that we normally overlook. When we're, I'm, I'm talking about long-term relationships, not these little things, flings that yeah. people have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very serious what, relationship. When, 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 exactly. It is for serious relationships. When, when, with the intention of marriage, if uh -huh. I'm getting an, into a relationship with the intention of marriage, I need to understand his purpose. I need to understand, will I be able... Two, you know, if if you know when, when I'm getting to a relationship with this guy, I need to understand his five-year plan, his yeah, ten-year yeah, plan. Uh -huh. Where do you want? You know, what do you want in life? And then I can be able to sit on on on, on my, you know, when I'm when I'm alone and I'm like, I think I can be able to be a helper in that area. Okay. I think I can be able to handle this. If you can't go, I another see, person will be a helper. Let's, let's say your partner, uh, you just to give an example, uh, you are the way you are. <laughs> But now your partner decides that today I'm going to church and I'm getting born again. And they, you know, it's, it, 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 it's happening in church mm -hmm. in that moment. And they get born again. Or they leave the house and then wh wherever they are, they get converted into uh, a particular religion. Let's say they become a Christian or they become an, a, you know, a, an Islam. So when they come back in the evening, they give you that information. I think it also depends with the stage of the relationship. Uh, if we are dating, then I can be able to decide if that is what I want for myself. You yes. know, is this the life I want to live? I'm thinking about the children we will have together. I'm thinking about the life that we will have together. If, if, I, am a, if I am a staunch Christian, a believer, I go to church every Sunday, and you go out there and you decide to convert to Islamic, and then I'm going to, you know, I'm going to think about the long term. Do I also want to convert? Mm. If I if not, you then I can go. He, he, but if it is marriage, if it if marriage is a it, it's different altogether, it's handled differently. Mm -hmm. I think biblically, if you are both married as sinners and um, one person gives their life to Christ, it is okay, it is allowed. Mm -hmm. But if in a relationship we are just dating, and then I go, I give my life to Christ, and you're yet a sinner. The Bible is very clear about being unequally yoked. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's a different thing altogether. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, uh, Tiago, your, your thoughts. Uh, someone decides to make a decision during the day. You know, it, your, your wife is watching here, but uh, Saizi, your pastor, <laughs> to talk a palenje, you meet uh, someone, Rini, a palenje, alafa, kuambie, tafadhali, nataka u convert, ukue, maybe Judaism, Islam, Islamism, Hinduism, and then you get converted. You go home, a different person from the way you came in. Definitely there is something it will affect yes. in your relationship. In life there are small decisions and so, there so. are major decisions mm -hmm. which can 
you can make as an individual. The matter of religion is not a small decision. The matter of faith is not a small decision. It is something that you can just wake up in the morning and you make a decision, including just including joining a church. Yeah. Yeah. When you're married, including you, you cannot just wake up one morning and you come and tell your husband, your wife, you know, I've decided to do what? To change church. Churches. She has mentioned and she has said the Bible says categorically, do not be equally yoked with unbelievers. I would like to expound on that a bit. When you are dating and both of you are having your own separate lives, yeah, and it happens that one gets converted, you are not married. You can even leave the girlfriend who is an unbeliever and find a one who is a, a believer. If you are married, you cannot. You, if, if you're already married, you cannot do that. Mm. You see? Mm. Because it is a major decision. Yes. But before marriage, a, be, you have, there's that flexibility. You have that freedom. You can make that decision. But to when, leave them or not to when you are married, it, it is not a decision that you can just wake up and make. Uh, there is a, uh, I'm, I'm hearing someone uh, has a question online. Ebu Timo, a letter to, to Yone. Okay. This is Kartel. Uh, mm hmm and so please help me. My partner is telling me that she's pregnant for me, but I have a strong feeling the pregnancy is not mine. What should I do? Or I, even though this is uh, not in regards to communication, someone has, has asked for help, and uh, they're right on power talk. We are willing to help you in your relationships. Diego, yes. Why is he in a relationship that she's unsure about? Because Anasema, the girlfriend, is pregnant. Mm. You can just read the question again. Yeah, uh, Timo, bring it up again. Aha, uh Nasama -huh. please help me. My partner is telling me that she's pregnant for me. This is a man, yeah? Mm -hmm. She's pregnant for me. But I have a strong feeling the pregnancy is not mine. It means he is in a relationship with which he is not sure. Because if she is pregnant for him, mm. There are many ways to establish whether he is responsible for that pregnancy. Mm. Mm. One, time is a revealer. Mm. Yeah, time is a revealer. Mm. It will reveal. He knows the time they were together and all that. Mm. There are other ways to wait for the baby to be born. They mm. go for a DNA test. Mm -hmm. But the greatest undoing for him, mm. it is to be in a relationship mm. that he is not sure whether that lady is for him or not. and for him alone. So uh, should he continue uh, uh, with that relationship and see, see it through till uh, birth? They should talk and agree on some things. What makes him feel that that pregnancy it's is not his? not his? He's not responsible for the pregnancy. Mag Magda. I think men take advantage of that thing so much. <laughs> this is not even a conversation that we should be having. Mm. You had unprotected sex. What did you expect? Help mm. a brother. No, what did you expect? <laughs> you know, when I start feeling like, hey, manze nini ni me do, uh, you decide, uh, uh, deny, deny, uh, deny. Uh, and that denying thing is a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a man thing. We are usually called uh, daughters of Jezebel. Me, I'm telling you, these other men. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sons of who? <laughs> sons of who? Pharaoh. Yes. <laughs> sons of Pharaoh. They deny. They deny. Deny. Pharaoh, let my people go. No, I did not do this. That is a thing that men do. Wow. And, mm -hmm. and 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 we are looking at this from his perspective. Mm -hmm. Probably the girl has given reason for not being trusted. Mm. But then it's, it might also be a strategy from the guy to avoid responsibility. But what if he has good reasons? If he has good reasons, then a DNA... I think technology has allowed for DNA tests even, DNA when, DNA the child, even when the child is, is still in the womb. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So they can actually sit down and have an agreement. If the girl is capable of handling the pregnancy on her own, then probably she can handle the pregnancy on her own until they can prove that the child is his. All right. If, so, yes, uh, if uh, not, uh, the guy can take responsibility and then maybe they can agree mm. that when we realize the child isn't mine, which I do not advocate for, mm. then you will, ref you will give me everything that I have spent. But it's something that I do not advocate for. So how, how do you tell your partner you're pregnant when uh, you know it's not the right time, you're not yet married? And based on this conversation, 
I don't think this guy is married to, to her. Of course, he, he said girlfriend, not mm. wife. Yeah. But if you're having, you know, that kind of level of intimacy in your mm. relationship, if you're having intercourse, then you should also have the conversation on birth control if you do not want <laughs> unexpected pregnancy. Ah, yeah. So this day, it, it is all about com how to communicate with your partner. I want us to uh, finish this conversation. Mm -hmm. I'm giving you all uh, 30 uh, seconds to just wrap this all up. Time is not on our side to make sure I'm So within 30 seconds. How do you communicate with your partner to wrap this conversation in a very good note for those who are watching you? When the Nyumbani wakifikira ni okay, you're watching from home, obviously. <laughs> yes. As I said when we began the show, communication is very essential in any relationship. Mm -hmm. And when you are in a relationship, be intentional. Intend, don't imply. Don't assume. Say what you mean and mean what you what say, you say. Mm -hmm. that is all that i can say thank you magdalene what's our take home for today uh after everything is said and done understand the person that you're with how they want to be communicated to and do it effectively number two uh do not assume people know things say it all speak it all out do not assume that the other party knows how you feel or what how what you expect and everything talk everything out everything is important do not bottle things in Wow, wow, wow. Uh, uh, nani, uh, uh, Timo, kuna comment rapa hivi mekuja. Jaden, the last king, anasema, help her brother. Niko na mpenzi, we are married, but I don't feel in love with her anymore. Kama hapo kitambo. Pasa, help, help her brother here. That is why I said, hmm. love is not something you fall into and you fall out of. Discover a purpose in someone's life, as she said, and grow in hmm. that purpose. Hmm. Because whatever you feel today is not what you'll be feeling tomorrow. Yeah. So love is more than a feeling. Mm. It is not just a feeling. It is more than a feeling. What should he do now? They are married already. They are married already. Mm. He needs to work on that relationship. What is it that he liked before that at this moment he mm -hmm. does not like it anymore? So he needs to go back from where they began, mm -hmm. from the foundation. What was their relationship founded on? So that is where it needs to be corrected from. Thank you so much. Uh, Jaden, I hope you've gotten your answer. A very big thank you to Akina Princess, Susie, uh, uh, Jack, Omuga, Ragan, uh, 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 that is Candy, Zadok, uh, Jack, um, uh, Jack, that is a white there, and uh, Olo, Regan, thank you so much, everyone, for your participation in this uh, conversation today. I was joined by or with uh, Magdalene and uh, uh, in, uh, 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 Tiego. Tiego. Mm. Tiego, Edwin Tiego and Madeline, thank you so much for your for, for being uh, part of this conversation. Uh, it was all about how to communicate with your partner. I hope you've learned something. I sure have. Mm -hmm. Gent uh, lady, gentlemen, as asante ni sana. Mm. Asante. That brings us to the end of this conversation today. Remember, tonight we have a repeat of this show. Power Talk is coming again tonight as from 10 p.m. A very big thank you. Thank you very much for being part of this show. On behalf of everyone who ensured this show was a success, may God bless you and may God bless the work of your hands. My name is Ram Maguko. This is Power Talk. <laughs>